Hi guys, it is that time of the year again. I'm switching over my closet from fall winter to spring summer and I know it's a little bit premature because spring isn't until March 19th, which is Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Oh my god, pray for me. I already switched over my closet. However, I actually need some of my spring stuff, my spring summer stuff for this collab that I'm doing with the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. So mark your calendars because the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show is on April 6th and April 7th at the Queen Elizabeth Building at Exhibition Place. So if you live in Toronto or like the GTA, you don't want to miss it, mark your calendars. I hope to see a few of you guys there. Okay, so for today's video, I'm switching over my closet. I don't know, I just, I'm in the mood to declutter. I just filmed that, like what I'm going to be wearing this spring video and I feel so inspired and I have a very clear vision of what I want my closet to look like and I just don't have a lot of those pieces and I just have a lot of clothes that I just I know I'm not gonna be wearing so I'm ready to declutter I'm ready to get rid of it all I am just ready for a new fresh start when it comes to my closet so I am gonna get started I'm just gonna take everything out of my closet and I'm gonna be putting it on my bed and then I'll start talking about my spring stuff as I kind of like slowly start bringing it in okay I'm not gonna ramble I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit more concise and okay let's get started kind of thinking that maybe I should leave like one or two coats out just in case because I feel like it's still going to be a little bit cold. Obviously not these ones because these are like my super long ones. I didn't even wear them this year because it wasn't cold enough. I think I'm going to be keeping this coat outside just because it's a little bit thinner um, and I just I love the details on it at the very back you can see there's like a little bit of piping and then it also has it here on the sleeves and this one is a little bit like it's like a tiny bit too small I think like I mean it still fits me and everything but I can't wear anything like super bulky on the inside like even just with this knit um, dress and this cardigan it's a little bit tight but I feel like if I'm wearing it with like a dress or something it'll be fine um, and I just think it's really cute and I haven't really had much of a chance to wear it if I'm being honest So this is the very first bag that I have. I have this one blouse here that I wear all the time. I think it's so cute. It like has little small little tap sleeves and then it ties in a little bow. It is so vintage, but I actually thrifted it and I don't think just based on the label, it is not actually true vintage. It's definitely more of like a vintage inspired piece, but I love it. This with shorts looks so cute. This marigold dress. I am obsessed with this. I posted this on my Instagram. It's from Libby Delight. You can get their stuff on Etsy or on their separate website. I'm going to be linking it down below because honestly, they make the cutest 1920s style dresses. And this color, when I saw it on the website, I fell in love with it, but I was a little unsure of what the color would look like on me. Like I didn't know if the color would look right, but I love this shade for my skin tone. I just, I felt so beautiful in this dress. This blouse is like not my absolute favorite, but I do wear it. So I guess I'll keep it out. It looks like this it has little almost like little cap sleeves as well and it has these little buttons it looks really cute with like a little like lace or like crochet collar this 1950s dress while it is incredibly beautiful and I absolutely love it it is like so nice and structured and I love it however I just I don't think I'm gonna be wearing it this season I've been like really not put off by the 1950s but I've been very like not drawn to it like at all. So I am gonna keep this in storage because I don't think I'm actually gonna wear it this season. Um, this blouse, again, it's like a 1950s blouse, but I actually did get some wear out of it last year. So I think I am going to put this out. This dress, again, it's like that 1950s, 1960s style that I'm just like not super drawn to at the moment, but I do love this dress. It has these beautiful details here at the front. It is gorgeous. I really, really love this dress. I think it's stunning, but like right now I've been more focused on like 1930s, 1940s, um, but I do love this dress. So I'm definitely keeping it maybe for like next summer. So then we have this blouse. I feel like I should like it in theory. I like it, but I don't know. I can't help but think that it just looks a little bit too big on me. Add this to a try on maybe kind of pile. Same with this blouse. Like I feel like I should like it in theory. It has little small little puff sleeves. It like ties in at the waist. The color is pretty nice. It's not too bright, but I don't know. I just, there's something about it that every time I put it on, I'm like, I just don't like this top. I don't know. Maybe I just have a really hard time styling it. I'm gonna put this in the try on pile. 
This dress is really cute. It has like this little flap sailor thing at the back and these really pretty, not I want to say flutter sleeve, but like these ruffle sleeve things. And it's really nice for like everyday, really casual days. I do wear this like around the house or if I'm running errands or something. Oh, I have a feeling there's a lot of things in here that I'm not going to keep out. Okay. This coat, as much as I love it, I just... I'm not gonna wear it, obviously, like it's not in season. Like I didn't keep it out this year because I'm just not gonna wear it. I also have this like 1960s dress underneath. Looks like this, really, really cute. Not gonna wear it this season. Sometimes I'm just like not in the mood to wear like 1960s stuff or like 1950s stuff, but I do love the pieces that I've bought in the past, so I don't wanna get rid of them. This I'm gonna keep in storage along with this dress underneath. Oh, I can get rid of this actually. I did wear it for a lookbook and it looked really cool, but I didn't really wear it outside of that. So I think I am going to be getting rid of this. It's these little sailor collars. I am going to be wearing because I think they're so cute. They're a really nice like addition to an outfit. I have a blue one and I also have this red one. I think they're really cute. So these I'm going to be keeping out. This dress, I wore it like a million times last year. I did wear this when I was in Milan and it just, it looked so cute. I actually love this dress. It's perfect for like casual day-to-day -day type things. This blouse actually has a matching skirt that is for some reason in another bag. So you guys will be seeing that a little bit later on, but I do love this little top from the 1940s. It's so pretty. This dress, while it is beautiful, it has all this like floral detail. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it is gorgeous. Um, it's a 1950s dress, but I just, I really don't see myself wearing it this season. So this is gonna stay in storage. This blazer I am for sure keeping because I love this color. I think it's beautiful. However, the dress underneath, even though it is a gorgeous color, it has like a 1920s kind of style. I just honestly, I would wear it around the house, but I just, I don't think it really flatters me that much. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because there's really no point in having something that you just don't feel good in. So this is gonna go into the maybe try on pile. This blouse, I don't really wear it on its own, but I actually think it's really pretty because it's so sheer. I wore it underneath like this like lingerie style dress and it looked really pretty. Um, but I, I love the little puff sleeves and I love how sheer it is. So this I'm gonna be keeping. Um, and I'm also gonna be keeping this dress because it's one of my favorites. It's like a perfect, like just throw on and like look really put together kind of dress. This a polka dots top, I think is so cute. Perfect for like 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, like casual daytime kind of look just because of the silhouette. It's just like a very timeless piece. Um, I also have this yellow dress that reminds me of Grease. You know that dress that she wears to go on their date? It looks so similar to it. However, again, like I said, 1950s, I'm just not really that drawn to it. So I think I'm gonna put this in storage. So this blouse, I should like. The color is perfect. It has small little puff sleeves, but I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm just not really that drawn to it. I didn't really wear it too many times last year. So I think I'm gonna put this in the try on pile and just to see how I feel. And the same with this. This blouse, I feel like I should like it because it has small little puff sleeves. It like ties in a little bow at the front, but I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm just like not feeling. I think it might be the tone on my skin tone. Like the color is just not right. This dress I absolutely love. It has a very like 1920s, 1930s kind of vibe. Very casual. I really, really like it. So this one for sure keeping. This little capelet thing, I literally never wear it, but I think it's really pretty. So I am going to keep it, but I'm not going to keep it out. I'm just going to put it back in storage. And then I also have this like 1960s cream dress. I don't know. I'm not feeling it I wasn't really feeling it last year either. So I think I'm gonna put this in the try on pile This Laura Ashley dress is gorgeous. I mean look at the back detail on it But I just I don't think I'm gonna be wearing it this season So it's gonna stay in storage these two blouses. I showed recently in a haul I mean look at this very like 1930s inspired and there's this one It's cream and it has these like pale rose pink pinstripes and I feel like this this with like the same colored shorts with an ice cream cone and my round sunglasses. Perfect summer look. Um, then I have this trench coat which I feel like is going to be my most worn coat this spring. It is gorgeous. It's like this really weird color. It's like almost a mix between gray and purple and it has these really beautiful buttons. Love. This 
this polka dot blouse. I feel like I like it in theory. I love the colors, the polka dots, very 1930s in the way that it fits, but I'm not entirely sure if I love it on me. So I think I'm gonna try this on. This is actually a 1980s dress, but I feel like it works really well for like a casual 1930s, 1940s look, especially when I pair it with a blue cardigan. I think it looks really cute. So this one I'm gonna be keeping. I wore this apple picking actually last year and it looked really cute. This blouse, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it might look a little bit too small on me if I'm being honest. So I think I am going to try this on. And I also don't know if I love the color on me. I don't know, I'm gonna try this on. This blouse, it's like a little like sleeveless white blouse. And I always say that I like it and like I love the print on it. I just, I hate the neckline. There's something about it that like it just looks a little bit too low on me and it just looks weird. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this because every single time that I put it on, I hate it. This dress, again, it's from that same brand, the V Delight that I mentioned. They make these 1920s style dresses and it is so pretty. I can't wait to wear this again. This blouse I really like. I wore it when I was in um, Florida and it actually looked really cute with the skirt that I paired it with. Very like 1930s kind of style. Love that. This dress I got last year. I never actually wore it and I love it in theory. I love the silhouette. I love the fabric and it looks really pretty but I just I don't know if I like the black and white contrast on my face like on my skin and just like the vibe. I do really like it though. I feel like maybe I wanna try it on with like accessories and everything. The sun is slowly starting to set. It's a little bit later in the day and I just took a much needed coffee and cookie break because I was falling asleep. I say this every single time. Switching over my closet makes me so tired. I also watched a YouTube video while I was having my coffee. And okay, I have to get something off my chest because I feel like I think about this every single time that I watch like vlogs and stuff. I love watching vlogs. So this comes across like on the videos that I watch all the time. but. Like, I don't know if this is just like a YouTuber thing or like if regular people do this too. Not that YouTubers aren't regular people. You guys, you guys know what I mean. But like, I don't know what it is, but like, why are people constantly just post mating their food? Like, I just, I'm trying to understand, but it's like, you're at home, just like make something. You know what I mean? Especially for like one singular person, like they're post mating a single coffee and I'm like, you're at home, just like make it. And I watch people's vlogs very frequently. So it's like, I can see that they're frequently getting Postmates or like Uber Eats or whatever, which is fine. Like it's their own money. That's not really the issue. I just like, I just don't understand like the thought of just ordering a singular meal for myself just wouldn't, it's just so foreign to me. Like that would just never cross my mind. I would just make something, you know? Like the only time that I would ever get some form of delivery or something, it's like pizza or Chinese food, and usually there's other people involved, it's not just me. The concept of just ordering a singular coffee and getting it delivered to my house is crazy. Like, that's literally so wild to me. Like, I don't know, is that just me? Like, anybody else? Because I feel like it's so wild. Anyway, back to my closet. I hope this isn't too boring. So I have this 1960s Pendleton set and it is gorgeous. So it has, it's black and it has this kind of like orangey plaid lapels on it. And there's a matching mini skirt. It is so cute, 1960s. Again, I am not really into the 1960s right now, so this is gonna stay in storage. If you've been watching my closet swaps for a while, you will know how many times I've talked about this particular blazer. And while I think it is stunning, gorgeous, I love all the piping on it, I'm going to be very realistic with myself. I have not worn this in like at least four years. Why is this still in my closet? It is time to part ways. I know it's really pretty and everything, but I just, I'm not gonna wear that. Same with this little jacket. Really cute, very like 1960s, short little mod kind of jacket, but I'm just not gonna wear it. So this has got to go. I think I really need to like declutter stuff. I think I'm in a new phase of my life. You know what I mean? Like I just wanna declutter things. Again, these blazers, when I was really into like preppy, Blair Waldorf, Gossip Girl kind of thing, it's it's been a while. So <laughs> I've had these for so long and I just don't wear them. So these again are gonna go, both of them. Good, bye. So I have this little cream blouse that I think is so cute. It's got little puff sleeves and then it ties in a little black bow at the front. It's really pretty. This dress I got last year, really fun for like a night out. It has like a 1920s kind of feel to it. This little blouse is stunning. I wore this one last year so many times and I just think it's so pretty. I love all this little detail. I don't know if it's gonna focus on there, but like look at how cute that is and it fits me like a dream. This dress, I feel like I always say I wanna get rid of it, and we, honestly, this year is the year I'm getting rid of it. I know it's really cute, it has a 1940s, 50s kind of influence, honestly, with the length. It's just not for me, I'm parting ways. 
This top is really cute. It has like a 1930s kind of vibe to it if you wear it with the right skirt and maybe like a little lace collar or something. I think it's really pretty. This blouse is a little bit too big for me, I think. So I think I'm going to try it on, but I have a feeling I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just not feeling it. I feel like I just want like a huge change in my closet. You guys saw my what, a, what I'm wearing this spring video and I feel like that's just the vibe that I want to have. Like definitely leaning more towards 1930s and just kind of like dive head first into it and have a lot of vintage. And this is the last garment bag I'm going to be opening because the lighting is absolutely horrible. I have this 1920s inspired dress which is gorgeous. I didn't even get a chance to wear this last year. I have this lace tiered like gown type thing and I think it is stunning. I love the concept of it. I have to try it on again, I think. I don't know how often I'm going to wear it. I've had it since last year and I never even wore it. So I think I'm going to try it on just to see how I like it. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up keeping this. And last but not least, there's this, this dress which actually breaks my heart because I love it so much. But it actually shrunk when I washed it. So the waist is a little bit too high for me. So it looks a little bit awkward. Um, but I am going to hang on to it just because... I don't know, what if I later down the road need it for something? I don't know. Actually, I think I'm gonna put these away because they're just not the vibe this season. I am like looking at my closet right now and it looks so bare. I feel like I didn't take anything out from storage because I have so many 50s and 60s pieces for summer and I don't know why, I'm just like really not drawn to those eras right now. I have a very clear vision of what I want my closet and my clothes to look like and I am so glad the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show is coming up because I'm ready to shop, I am ready to change my look. I just want like a change, I want new looks, new outfits new me, new season, new me kind of vibe. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. It does look very bare right now, which is a little bit concerning because I don't really know what I'm gonna be wearing so far. I feel like I really do need to shop. Um, but anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. The light is gone. This lighting is absolutely horrendous. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
I guess I really don't have that many more skirts. I think I have like one more bag left and that's all the skirts that I have. So I guess I should put both of these out. I really need to get some new skirts. So Toronto Vintage Clothing Show, please have some skirts for me because if not, I don't really know what I'm going to be wearing. Oof. Okay, so the amount of skirts that I have for this season is a little bit concerning. I'm not going to lie because... I don't have many more. I have this little pink skirt that this is the one that matches with that pink top that I showed you guys yesterday. I don't know why I put them in two separate bags, but whatever. This skirt looks really similar to those cream ones that I just showed you, but this one, the color is a little bit darker. And then whatever is left are just my old shorter plaid ones. I don't really wear these if I'm being completely honest, but I do keep them just in case because you never know. These are the only ones that I have from like my 1960s, like shorter plaid skirt kind of era, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be keeping these in storage. I also feel like it's time to change this because it has been up for way too long. Same with this set. And same with this fur coat that I love, but I just don't think I'm going to be wearing it this spring anymore. It looks so bare in here without anything on the doors. I do like hanging things here on the doors, but it looks really bare. I will find something else to replace them with. I'm not really sure what yet. I feel like I have a couple of like suit sets or like blazers that I might be able to put up on display here, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to put there yet. This is what the closet is looking like. I have all of my skirts here. I have some little jackets and blazers here. I did leave like two winter coats here because I feel like it's still a little bit cold outside and I can just put them away after. And then I have some summer dresses here. These are like my vintage inspired ones. So there's still a lot of room over here. Um, and then on the other side, I have my blouses and then I have like my vintage dresses on this side. Um, I feel like I do have to kind of like push some things around because there's way more room on this side than there is on the other side. I also have a rack of like new wish spring pieces that I got throughout the winter that I didn't add into my winter closet. Um, this one I know I haven't shown you guys, but it's like this green blazer and like I love this color. The fit of it is like very 1940s. I love the color. I love this material. It's so soft and it's like really nicely fitted. I really like this one. These two that I did show you guys in a haul, I don't remember which haul it was, but I did show these to you guys. But this one is like this beautiful, kind of like buttery, honey, kind of yellow. Really, really nice and structured, very 1940s. And then I have this 1950s little um, blazer. It's like a really interesting color. It's kind of like a green, like a very, very, very light sage almost. It's really, really pretty. This blouse was in my last video, my what I'm wearing this spring video. And I think it's so beautiful, this color, just everything about it, I just love. I also have this really cute little skirt. It has like flowers all over it. I'm gonna get close so you guys can see it. It has like this really pretty like floral pattern. It's like a really thin fabric so it's perfect for like day to day on like a really hot day. And I actually ended up finding this little like red knit top. It looks like this and it has like this really pretty like pattern. I feel like this layered over like a little blouse and then I have this skirt I think would be really cute for like a really casual like summer day. This dress I thrifted recently and I love the pattern on it and the colors. It's like a very 1930s, 1940s kind of vibe. I feel like for like 1940s, it would be, it would work really well for like a casual summer day, especially with like a cardigan or something. Um, and then this is a dress that I was wearing in my last video. It is so beautiful. Like it has so much movement at the bottom. And then these little flutter sleeves are just like a dream, obviously. These colors, I actually love this. <laughs> I have this suit set that I love. It has almost like a bow detail here, like at the front, and it is just beautiful. Um, and then I also have this suit set that is black, and this one's with a dress, and it has this little jacket that has like this floral detail here, and then the dress has it at the front as well. It is gorgeous. This is like very, very 1930s, especially in the length and just like the bias cut of the dress. and. I love it so much. Okay, this lighting is getting crazy. It is so windy outside and it's gloomy and I feel like the rain is gonna start like any second. I've boosted this camera like three times already but it still looks a little bit dark. Um, so tomorrow I think we're gonna be tackling my dressers for all of like my knitwear and stuff like that, like shorts and also my shoes. Um, however, I feel like we did make a lot of progress today because I kind of spaced everything out and organized it a little bit better so it looks really good. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. It is day three of switching over 
over my closet and I am determined to finish today because I'm honestly getting a little bit bored so I can only imagine how bored you guys are so I'm gonna be starting out with the dresser I'm just gonna empty out this entire drawer this is all of my cardigans I'm just gonna empty it all out and then we'll see which ones I'm keeping donating which ones I'm putting in storage all that stuff okay this cardigan it's like a really nice kind of like sage color I feel like this one I can actually wear all year round this light blue one that I was wearing yesterday also can stay out I feel like this one I can still wear throughout the spring it's really cute it's like a blue color I feel like it matches a lot of things this cream one I love I think it's really really beautiful but I don't wear it it looks like this it has kind of like plaid on it and I love that the buttons are covered I'm gonna put this in the try on pile because I have not worn it in like two years I also have this one cream cardigan that looks like this it's just like a simple one and I feel like I should keep it just because it's simple but I don't wear it I feel like I don't love the way that it fits so I'm gonna be putting this in the try on pile and then we'll see um this one is like my one cream cardigan that has like this knit pattern that I wear all the time so this one's staying brown I feel like I can still wear this no or is it too much of a winter color I feel like brown I can wear all year round this one is definitely more of a winter piece so this one can actually go into storage for the fall cream one is also more of a winter piece um, I have this Lacoste one that belonged to my dad, but it's like very wintry. This is that red knit top that I showed you guys yesterday. I love this cardigan. It has like these little vines and everything on it. I think it's so cute, but obviously more of a winter piece. Blue cardigans, I feel like I do wear throughout the entire year. And I have like a bunch of them, but they all, they're all different shades and silhouettes. So these ones can all stay out. This green cardigan is the exact same one, like this blue one that I'm wearing, um, except it's green. But I feel like I'm not going to wear it spring summer this red cardigan i love the color however i feel like it's a little bit too warm for the spring summer so i'm gonna be putting this into storage this obviously is more of a winter piece just because of the pattern that's on it then i have this one is more of a christmas winter kind of piece obviously same with this one it's like that same kind of thing a black cardigan i feel like i should leave one out just in case because you never know i love the color but i don't know if it's like too warm it's the same as the red ones are from memory but i don't know if they're too like thick for spring summer this red cardigan is like an oversized one that i wear when i'm like lounging around the house and i was a little tempted to actually donate this because I don't really wear it very often but I did wear it the other day and it was really cozy just like to like hang out on the couch so I think I am going to hang on to it for another year but it's more of a winter piece this one I would normally put away with the fall winter stuff but it kind of reminds me of one of the cardigans that Ali wears in the notebook you know the one where like they have the big fight scene with her with her parents I feel like she's wearing a cardigan that looks very similar to this even though it is more of a fall color I feel like it does kind of work for the spring so I think I am going to be leaving this one out as well this purple long sleeve top I actually got recently I haven't even worn it yet but it is gorgeous perfect for spring then I have this little 1940s little blue cardigan you guys can't really see it because of the lighting but this one's gonna stay out and then I have this red cardigan that I'm just gonna leave out because it has like a nautical kind of feel to it I did wear it recently in a video and I think it's really cute the cardigans that I'm gonna be keeping for all year round I'm just gonna fold them up and put them back into the dresser <laughs> I also emptied out my knit sweater drawer and I'm honestly keeping all of these because I did go through it a lot of times over the winter and I feel like I have a very small collection. There are two sweaters that I'm debating leaving out for the spring. Like I have this one that's like a beautiful pink color. It's like almost like a magenta kind of tone and I think it's really really pretty so I think I'm going to leave this out for the spring um, as well as this one because it has like a nautical kind of feel to it because it looks like this and in the back it has the little flap so I think I can still get some wear out of this um, and then I also have this yellow one that I think is really cute so I think I'm going to leave this out as well the rest of them are more winter pieces like this one literally has snowflakes on it same with this one like this this so I'm just going to fold all of these and then I'm going to bring in some Tupperwares <sighs> Okay, so this is the first big Tupperware that I have. I think I have two that are full of my spring summer stuff and then I have other ones that are just have like my 1960s stuff in them. So I'm not going to go through those. Um, oh my god. So I have this piece which is really cute but I'm not going to wear it this season. It's like a 1960s little like play suit kind of thing. I'm not going to wear this this season. This skirt, oh my god, I wore this so many times last year. Honestly, an amazing thrift find. This dress I got last year. It's a 1940s dress. And it is so pretty. It's like polka dots 
It's really, it looks better than I'm showing it right now. I've shown it on camera like a bunch of times. This I'm not gonna wear this year. It's like a 1960s kind of style with like little flowers. Not for this year. This is like my one beach cover up that I have and I've never even worn it because I have not gone to the beach and it is so cute but I'm gonna keep it out just in case I do somehow find myself at a beach. This white dress. Am I gonna wear it? I could. This one is a yes. Am I gonna wear this? Try on. <laughs> This mini skirt, I'm parting ways. Goodbye. Okay, this is the second one. There's this one 1930s like little top cardigan type thing that I bought last year and I didn't end up wearing it because I got it in the fall and I haven't seen it. So now I'm wondering like, am I missing something? Who knows, maybe I open this and it's like right here. <laughs> These are probably my favorite pair of shorts that I got last year. I think they are so cute. I wore them like a million times. This top, I don't know if it's like too white. I don't know if I just like, I don't love the material. So I think I am gonna put this in the try on pile. It is really cute. It has like these little ruffly things at the front. This little play suit is actually so cute. It's like polka dot with blue. It's actually really cute on. I feel like it doesn't really do it justice like this, but I didn't wear it last year, but I really want to. Oh my God, this dress was probably my favorite find of the summer last year. It has such a 1930s feel to it. I loved it. <laughs> one white skirt that I think is really cute. I don't know if it's too long though. I think it's a little bit too big at the waist so I might have to get it taken in. I'm gonna try this on. Don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this. I'm gonna put this in the try on pile. This sleeveless turtleneck has got to go. I didn't take these out this fall, but I think they're so cute. I have these like cheerleading sweaters and I think they're so cute. I have this yellow one and then I also have this red one and I think they're amazing. Like this one has a C on it for Carolina. I think they're so cute. These red shorts, I feel like I wore them a few times last year. They're so cute. They're kind of like a wool red shorts. I think they're so pretty. I have an orange cardigan. I don't think I'm gonna be wearing that. That's gotta go. This top has definitely seen better days, so this has got to go. This little mini skirt, I'm not gonna wear this. And that's it. Where's my top? I don't know where that top is. I'm gonna have to go look for that because I really did like it and I got it in the fall and I never even wore it and it wasn't cheap. So I don't know where that top went. It's weird. <laughs> shoes and these furs are not staying here by the way I just they're on my bed and I had to go to bed last night and I was feeling lazy and I didn't know where to put them so I just hung them there for now and I'm having issues with my shoes because I feel like I do have some more summer shoes than I do winter shoes and I'm kind of leaving a few pairs of shoes that I feel like I can still wear now in the spring like for example I can still wear these shoes they're a little bit more like a brown color but I feel like they still kind of work for some spring looks so I'm leaving them out so I don't have as much room as I normally would, just because I'm switching my closet so early. Um, don't know what I'm going to do. Also, the lighting is like disappearing. I don't even know why. I don't even think it's gonna rain today, but it's like super, super gloomy. You could definitely see it in the lighting right now. Um, so I think I'm just gonna call it a day. I'll include some B-roll of what my closet looks like and what the drawers look like and everything so you guys can kind of see like the final product. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I switch over my closet. I know you guys really like this video. I'm sorry if it was like so much talking. I hope this wasn't like super boring for you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss 
miss out on any new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! By the way, this is the current donation slash try on pile. It's pretty big. <laughs>